in the world of fragrance, making you smell delicious and offending you at the same time may be considered especially heinous. In New York City, a gorgeous Cubano and his elite squad of ball sprayers will seek out these colognes and investigate them. This is his story. Bitch. Show some of my chest hairs out here. I need to wax this motherfucker. I'm gonna call this episode false advertisement. Cause when I bought this fragrance, of course, blind buy, cause that's what Cuba does on the regular like an asshole. Only when it's a good deal. I expected something completely different than what the name said. Just by the name alone, it exudes masculinity. It exudes strength. It exudes darkness, luxury, mystery. But I didn't get all of those things. So let's roll my motherfucking music and find out why I'm so confused. Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A, bringing you hits like every single day. I'm gonna make your life super easy and tell you that this fragrance is sick. One of the best that I've smelled in this house, but confused the fuck out of me, to say the least. The fragrance that I'm talking about that really kind of like fucked with my head, as you probably have seen already by the title, is none other than Oud Wood. Tom Ford's Oud Wood. What I expected from Tom Ford's Oud Wood was Oud Wood. Bold, aggressive, dark oud, maybe a little animalic. Winter, fall only. Outdoor situational fragrance. What I got from it was extremely wearable, beautifully blended, fuck that, masterfully blended. Woody, fresh, wearable oud, Gorgeousness, luxury, opulence, sexiness. This is just lingering in the air and making me feel important. Making me feel like my credit score just went up 80 points. I need that. I just got approved for an Amex by smelling this fragrance. I just got a small business loan wearing this to the application. I just got my dream job because of Oud Wood. This is making me feel accomplished. All the things that I don't have in my life, this is making me feel. It's so sad and slightly depressing, but listen, that's not your problem. That's shit that I have to discuss with my therapist. Doctor, I'll see you soon. This is not as dark as I anticipated. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's wearable at all times. I've worn this now. It's hot as fuck, and I've worn it. It hasn't choked me out. On the contrary, it's been very fucking wearable. Why are you confusing me, Tom? Dark, yet light. It's a mulatto. It's a cafe con leche. It's dark, yet light with a little sugar. God damn it, I just figured it out. This motherfucker right here is a cafe con leche. It is dark coffee with some white milk and some sugar added into it with a splash of Dominican vanilla. Just a little dribble, cause that shit is strong as fuck. This is fucking incredible while smoking a nice pipe tobacco. Shit. Fuck yeah, Tom Ford, yes! Victory! I'm not gonna go out on a limb and say all these Tom Ford private blends are dope, because they're not. This one should be on your top four. Maybe top three, because this shit is sick. Get a sample. Smell it, it's pricey, it's not cheap. If you can get it for a good deal, still don't blind buy it, just smell it first. Because I like to be told that I'm wrong, but I ain't wrong. Is this a ball sprayer? <laughs> Oh my gosh. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. That's all I gotta say. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is. Sex magnet. Smooches! Money for the roller roller star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, we don't talk of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never.
get in. It's hard, but you would think that you would.